it, the meat is so tender it, it just literally just fell off the the bone he is so tender so juicy like you eat it you don't need to chew it will just melt in your mouth that's how tender and juicy this meat is no need to chew the ribs are so juicy they're just like you don't even have to put any effort they're just like falling apart all right so when you come to pakistan you have to get the traditional dress and this dress is so comfortable it is so loose you feel so relaxed in this i mean usually i i have a little bit of a tummy but like with this dress i'm looking like a fitness model you know looking so good and now getting away from the shalwar kameez behind me is the restaurant that we have come to eat at today and this restaurant is last tribe the food you get here is almost western pakistani almost uh, afghani food you get over here so let's go and check this place out let me know in the comment section how do i look in this shalwar kameez let me know okay Right, so our food has arrived the first dish that we ordered here is called ribs with kavli plow so these ribs are from an animal it is called dumba dumba is sheep and this sheep has a little bit extra fatty tissue on the back side so this is the dumba uh, ribs on the bottom is uh, called kavli plow which is uh, rice that have cashews that have carrots in it uh, there are dates uh, there are pistachio and the next thing we called over here it is called mutton ran which is a really tasty looking dish uh, there is some gravy in it and uh, we'll try and see how this is I've never eaten this in my life before and over here uh, it is a naan which is different than any other naan that I've ever seen before it is called Kadri naan and we saw how they make it and it is a uh, the making of the naan was very similar to how other naans are made it is just uh, there are some uh, poppy seeds some sesame seeds on it and then just the shape of it is a little bit different it's so much <laughs> it is really long compared to other naans that I've eaten and the last thing we got over here is uh, they have given us some uh, tomato sauce they say it is really good and then over here uh, they have given us some fresh uh, cucumbers tomatoes and some uh, limes so let's dig in let's see how good the food is we're gonna start with the dumba uh, ribs and the plow so they have provided us with forks and spoons and knives and everything but they told me the traditional way to eat is with hands so that is how we're gonna try this so let's dig in so we're gonna I'm gonna all right guys first bite gotta make it a perfect bite The ribs are so tender, they're really juicy. Uh, the ribs are so juicy, they're just like, you don't even have to put any effort, they're just like falling apart. And they're a little bit, uh, they're not very spicy, just a little bit salty. And then the, the rice have uh, these carrots and they have these other nuts in them, and also these carrots. And if you get these together in one bite, uh, it will be a little bit uh, sweet. So it's like a, sweet spicy salty combination in one bite all right so next thing we're gonna try it's called mutton ron it is made from uh, goat meat so let's see how <laughs> The meat is so tender it, it just literally just fell off the the bone so and we're just gonna i want to try uh just a little bit of the this meat with the and inside of this gravy they have added sesame seeds as well so let's try this 
meat on its own with some of this gravy and see what it tastes like on its own. So the meat is it, uh, the gravy is just a little bit salty. So I think that is why we have this uh, naan, or it's called kadri naan. Uh, and I'm thinking it's not gonna be like it's gonna neutralize some of the saltiness of the gravy. But the thing I really this meat is so tender, so juicy. Like you eat it, you don't need to chew. It will just melt in your mouth. That's how tender and juicy this meat is. No need to chew. Perfect. So let's try this uh, this dish, this gravy, this meat with the bread and see how it is. Actually, uh, what I want to do is I'm just try the naan on, on its own and see if it's any, it tastes any different than the other naans I have tried in my life. Naan is taste is very similar to the other naans that I have tried in my life. So let's try to get a perfect bite of this really juicy and tender meat. Let's actually dip it in the gravy as well. Mm. One bite is not enough. Mm -mm. I cannot give a good review, an honest review with just taking one bite. It's not possible. I got to take a second bite. I'm sorry guys, you're just going to have to wait. <laughs> Let's try a second bite. With the naan, it is perfect. It is not salty. The naan, the bread, it doesn't have any salt. Like, it, I mean, it has. It might have some salt in it, but it is not salty like the gravy. So, with the naan, this dish is perfect. The naan is essential to this dish.